unpacking and checking. Unpacking the Turbo H1 battery module, open the packing box and take out the battery module and accessories. Check the accessory, check that if there is missing item, or any distortion or impaired during transportation. Unpacking the BMC controller, open the packing box and take out the BMC controller and accessories. Check the accessory, check that if there is missing item, or any distortion or impaired during transportation. Dot disassembly the BMC controller and bottom case, unpacking the N1HV hybrid inverter, open the packing box and take out the inverter and accessories. Check the accessory, check that if there is missing item, or any distortion or impaired during transportation. Installation tools. The hybrid system installation requires the following tools. Installation. Installation of battery modules and BMC controller. Put the installed base and feet along the wall, and keep the distance of 20 mm between the wall and the base. Align the marking off plate with the upper surface of the base. The edge of the paper needs to be aligned with the edge of the base. Adjust the height of the base feet, so that the base height is 80 mm. According to the site environment, this height can be adjusted by the user. Drill holes with 10 driller carefully. Make sure the holes are deep enough, at least 45 mm, for installing, and tight the expansion tubes. Install the expansion tubes in the holes, and tight them. Install the wall bracket using the expansion screws in the screw package. Take a battery module from the package out, hang the module on the bracket, pull the latches on the left and right sides, and put one battery module on the base. Pay attention to the direction of the module. Continue to measure to ensure that the distance between the battery module and the wall is 20 mm. Install the screws. Repeat the same operations for other battery modules. Put the BMC control on top of the battery module. Installation of inverter, use the wall bracket as a template to mark the position of the four holes. Drill holes with 10 driller carefully, make sure the holes are deep enough, at least 45 mm, for install, and tight the expansion tubes. Install the expansion tubes in the holes, and tight them. Install the wall bracket using the expansion screws in the screw package. Hang the N1HV, AC inverter on the wall bracket. Fix the screw. Electrical connections. Make the battery positive cables, red wire. Prepare the tin plated cables with a conductor cross section of 4 to 6 square millimeters, AWG10. Separating connector. Use a suitable stripping tool to strip 15 millimeters off the conductor. Carefully insert the stripped wire with twisted lit wires all the way in the spring. The lit wire ends have to be visible in the spring. Close the spring. Make sure that the spring is snapped when you hear a clicking sound. Push the insert into the sleeve. Tighten the cable gland to 2nm. If possible, use a suitable and calibrated torque wrench, size 15. Use an open jaw wrench, size 16, to hold the connector in place. The battery positive cable has been made successfully. Make the battery negative cable black wire. Do the same way for making the battery negative cable. electrical connections. Connect the power cables between the battery modules. Connect the communication cables between the battery modules. Connect the cable between the battery module and the BMC controller Connect the battery power positive cable between the battery module and the BMC controller. Connect the communication cable between the battery module and the BMC controller. Connect the battery power negative cable between the battery module and the BMC controller. Connecting the PE cable. Electrical connections of the inverter. Prepare to 0.5 per square millimeters PV cable and PV plugs as the figure shown. Strip off 7 millimeters of insulation from the PV string wire end. Insert striped cable into pin contact and ensure all conductor strands are captured in the pin cont. Pin contact by using a crimping pliers. Put the pin contact with striped cable into the corresponding crimping pliers and crimp the contact. 
separate the DC connector. Insert pin contact through the cable nut to assemble into back of the male or female plug. When you feel or heard a click, the pin contact assembly is seated correctly. Tight the DC connector. Do the same way for making the PV negative cables. Remove the waterproof cover. Connect the PV strings to PV input port of inverter. Before connecting the PV string, please measure the open circuit voltage of each PV string. Make sure the maximum open circuit voltage, VOC, of each PV string does not exceed the inverter in. Put voltage max under any condition. Battery connections connect the battery cables to the battery port of the inverter. The cables between the inverter and the BMC controller may see output connections. Take out the AC terminal from the accessory bag. Remove the cable jacket by 40 millimeters and strip the wire insulation by 8 millimeters, 15 millimeters. Fully insert the conductors to the corresponding terminal and tighten the screws with the torque zero, eight in M. Pull cables outward to check whether they are firmly installed. To assemble the housing, the terminal block and cable gland, torque for an M5NM. Make sure that the rib of the terminal block and the groove on the housing engage perfectly until a click is heard or felt. Do the same way for making the EPS output cable. Connect the AC output cable to grid port of inverter. Connect the EPS output cable to the EPS port of inverter. Communication interface 1. RS485 port 2. Add interface Meter communication Meter underscore 485A meter underscore 485B Pin 1 pin 2 Relay contact output for generator Gene again Pin 3 pin 4 Shut down the hybrid inverter, plus 5V shutdown, pin 5, pin 6. Temperature of lead acid battery, temp GND, pin 7 and pin 8, 3. USB port, for firmware upgrade, 4. BMS CAN, RS485 port, connect the lithium battery. 5. PLL CAN, parallel use of multiple inverters. 6. DRM port. 7. Meter port. 8 PLL CAN parallel use of multiple inverters. The meter connections connect the meter communication cable to the add interface of inverter. Follow below diagram to connect the smart meter. BMS connection connect the BMS communication cable to the inverter Wi-Fi GPS connection connect the Wi-Fi or GPS module to inverter Earth connection use the crimping pliers to strip off 7 millimeters of insulation from PE wire end crimp pin contact by using a crimping pliers Put the pin contact with striped cable into the corresponding crimping pliers and crimp the contact. Connect the PE wire to the inverter. Connections between inverter and BMC controller. Connect the BMS cable of inverter to the BMC controller. Connect the battery power cables between the inverter and the BMC controller. After all wires are connected, install the battery covers. Just install the BMC controller cover. N1HV energy storage system now is successfully installed. Start inverter. Turn on inverter DC switch to on position. Turn on BMC DC switch to on position and press power button. Turn on AC circuit breaker between inverter grid port and AC grid. Turn on C switch. Language setting. Press the enter key to enter the main menu, settings, language, and select language.
long press enter to confirm the setting, dot date time setting, select date time to set the time and date of the inverter, long press the enter key to confirm the setting, PV input mode setting, PV, select PV config to set the PV input mode of the inverter, long press the enter key to confirm the setting, work mode setting, select work mode to set the inverter's work mode, long press the enter key to confirm the setting, safety setting, Enter the main menu, Settings, select, Advanced. Enter the password, 0000, select, On Grid. Enter safety to select the safety regulations of the inverter. Inverter is counting down and finally enters the normal state. 